Now, the Catholic Charismatic Renewal of Grenada has slated a number of activities in observance of its Jubilee anniversary. The movement was introduced to Grenada in 1972. The Charismatic Renewal was introduced to the Spice Isle by a Catholic team from the USA, supported by devoted nationals who gave their all to its birth and growth within the Diocese of St. George's in Grenada. Current National Service Team Coordinator Margaret Granger spoke to Good News Catholic Communications on the genesis of the renewal movement. Clooney sisters like Sister Gertrude, mm -hmm. um, Father Duffy, Sister Rose, and others whom I may not remember. Okay. Then you had um, people like Sister Bernie. They used to be in Grenada, but they came from Canada. So it's, it, you know, like you had from the US and Canada. They had priests like um, Father Robert, Father Duffy, and there was an Australian priest whose name I'm not recalling now, but he was quite elderly and he came and actually lived for quite some time to help the renewal to grow. So if somebody is hearing the name Catholic Charismatic Renewal, what is, what is the renewal all about if somebody is hearing it for the first time? What is that movement about? I'll give a little insight into the history, how it started and then move on, okay? It started with some students, university students in Duquesne, USA. Mm -hmm. One of the persons, I think was a priest who brought, who had a retreat and brought in a Pentecostal or somebody of another faith who spoke so much about this Holy Spirit and what he was doing in his life. So they went into the chapel and they decided and asked God saying, we're not leaving unless we get some of what that man has. We are not leaving here until you give us some of what he has. And they waited and waited, and then the Holy Spirit was poured out. They spoke in tongues, they gave prophecies, they were slain, they were praising, they were worshiping. And then more and more as the days and weeks rolled on, more students joined them. Then <clears throat> the, the tutors joined them, <clears throat> excuse, and it spread from one, one university to the other, from one church to the other, from out of the states into or many other islands, nations, states, and continents, and no lesser place than the Caribbean, Grenada being one of the many. Commonly labeled a movement of the Holy Spirit and a gift to the church, Sister Granger went on to explain what the movement is all about. However, the renewals, days of renewals, prayer meetings, okay? Pentecost rally used to be a big affair. I remembered once when it was in the Methodist school and it proved too small. So after that, it moved into the park, it was Queen's Park. And that was still too small because the, the stadium, right, couldn't hold everybody. So there were people all over, they brought their food. I mean, food was the least in the sense that the food of the spirit, the food of the Lord was, um, you know, the word of the Lord and the messages given, uh, it was really, you know, when things start, if you start a fan, it blazes. You may fan it up and you may never reach that proportion again, but you, you don't forget when it started. And once it doesn't go out, okay, when things begin that are new, people gravitate towards it more. But to me, it was not just gravitation. The Holy Spirit being noise about in the Catholic Church seemed new. And I say seemed new because we always sign ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. But although we did that and continue to do that, many people, even those outside of the, the renewal, the Holy Spirit is a prayer we say, but for it's a strange thing that happens. We do not see him. We say he's the third person of the Blessed Trinity, but many of us do not see us having a relationship with him. And when we have a relationship with him, it doesn't mean that we've left out the other two persons of the Blessed Trinity, his Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It is, thought, it is such that we pray to Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, but the fruits and gifts, right, are come to us through the Holy Spirit. So the point I'm making is that in those 50 years, I want to thank the Lord that people have come to realize that the Holy Spirit is a third person of the Blessed Trinity and just as powerful as the Father and the Son, the undivided unity the best unity, the perfect unity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and he must not be left out. 
while COVID-19 regulations will somewhat determine the extent of activities undertaken, the optimistic National Service Team Coordinator listed a few of the ambitious plans on the table. As we celebrate 50 years, we have to say we're planning because until it happens, and especially in these times, right? We trust God if all does not do not happen, many will. We are planning to teach children to make rosaries and to teach them how to pray them. We are planning a takeaway breakfast in various parishes because since it's takeaway, you won't ask me to come for a takeaway breakfast. Just take it and go coming from Sutter's, Guam, et cetera. So we, we localize in it, okay? We are also planning to have tokens for various members of the Catholic Charismatic Renewal. We have to get criteria for the tokens. Age is one, okay? Length of service is another. Also, we... Planning, we are planning to have a quiz for children and young people based on the faith and on the Bible. Visitation is a must. We've done it before and we're going to do it again. We want to visit the homes in various parts of the islands, the parishes that have the, the homes, the persons in the prayer group and others are invited. We're going to visit. We know it's not as before. We have to stay outside and pray, but we present to each home a hamper coming from the members of the various groups, right? We really have to and want to produce a, um, a Jubilee magazine. We are planning to, to, sorry, to also have a Life in the Spirit seminar on Zoom, as well as we want to have a conference. We take this opportunity to congratulate the Catholic Charismatic Renewal on their Jubilee celebrations.